Now we're going to install three different kinds of cleaners. Uh, the first cleaner is going to be, um, well, it's actually already installed. Uh, you go to your start button and then click uh, clean and you will see this option that says disk cleanup. Um, you click that and it says select the drive you want to clean. You want to clean your C drive. Uh, click OK. And uh, if you uh, are on XP, you're going to have to see um, you're going to have to access it a different way. I, I can't really remember how to do it. I think it's run, and then you type in clean.exe or something like that. Um, sorry, guys, I can't remember for XP users. Um, well, you shouldn't even be using XP in 2014. It's time to upgrade um, to Windows 7 and uh, Windows 8. So I'm not even going to talk about XP anymore. Um, but anyway, you're going to see the, the disk cleanup going, and it's uh, calculating. Um, you can also make a shortcut for this disk cleanup. You go back to typing in clean in the search and then uh, right click and you're going to click uh, copy and then you're just going to paste it to the desktop. And uh, that's why I wanted you guys to put this maintenance folder so you don't have icons all over your desktop. Uh, you're going to drag that uh, clean icon into the maintenance folder and it's just, just name it disk cleanup. It's right here. So you can. Anytime you want to make a quick clean, you just uh, click that and this will appear and it's going to do some calculation and uh, it's going to ask you to clean. So after this is done, um, I'll show you guys what to do. Okay, so after the, uh, it calculated everything, you're just going to um, check everything. Um, just check everything. Don't be scared to check everything and click OK and click delete files. So then it's going to be deleting temporary files in your operating system. And it's going to also delete your recycling bin. So uh, if you have anything in the recycling bin you don't want deleted, take it back out. Um, so after we did that cleanup, we're going to do another cleanup. The next cleanup we're going to do is called CCleaner. Um, you go to Firefox and click uh, and delete your uh, Internet Explorer icon if you still have it because you don't want to be using that dumb browser as I said already um, so we're, what we're going to do is download CCleaner and you're just going to type in CCleaner and uh, you're going to see the very first uh, link is by Pureform and you click download and then you will click the download uh, uh, from Pureform.com uh, if you want the professional version it costs more uh, you're completely fine with the free version though I use the free version and uh, as you're going through the setup um, watch what uh, links like every other program there's always add-ons <coughs> excuse me there's always uh, programs attached to the uh, main program that you're installing so make sure you don't uh, make sure you uncheck any programs like toolbars or anything asks again um, and that's every time you install, or in, uh, every time you're in a setup of a program. Um, so after you have CCleaner, you're going to see uh, this little window right here. And uh, if it asks you to update, please update. And uh, first thing we're going to do is go to your cleaner, um, check everything here. Uh, you can check safe passwords if you want, um, if you don't feel like typing in your passwords again. But uh, by default, most of this stuff should already be checked. Ignore all this stuff here. Um, ignore the start menu shortcuts. Um, just copy exactly what I have, and uh, and click analyze. Give it a minute. So after that's complete, uh, you're gonna see a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, temporary and cache. Uh, files so you're just gonna click just click run cleaner and it cleans all that that's gonna free up some space on your computer this might take a while this will probably take like three minutes to I'd say eight minutes depending on how much stuff you have on your computer that you haven't cleaned up so after that's done um, just uh, um, you're pretty much done with this uh, cleaner now all you gotta do is uh, click registry and scan for issues and it's gonna scan your registry for any uh, links that are unused and uh, give that about a minute or 
three minutes even. So I always keep my registry clean. It's probably only going to take like 50 seconds for me. Um, for you guys, it might take longer if you've never done this before. And now uh, that they are all uh, showing, all the errors showing in my registry, uh, click Fix Selected Issue. Uh, do you want to back up changes to the registry? I just click No every time. And then I click Fix All Selected Issues and Close. And basically cleaned up all your uh, registry errors. Um, now we're going to install another program and move to the next step. And by the way, uh, CCleaner is very careful not to uh, delete any files, like document files, anything like that. It only deletes temporary files and uh, recycling bin files if you have recycling bin option checked. So don't worry about any important files being deleted. And uh, one very last thing I want to show you about CCleaner. Uh, you go to options and here you, you can see the settings. Um, you can add it to when the computer starts. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but uh, you can see all the cookies. It'll say enable smart scan cookies when you first install it. And I should have said that before, but you can click uh, enable smart scan uh, for cookies. And then uh, all the sites that you frequently visit, you don't have to type your passwords in again when you clear your cookies. Um, you can uh, exclude files. Um, like I try to exclude Microsoft Security Client, which is my virus scanner, which we will install later on if you don't have a virus scanner. Um, uh, because what it does is it deletes the the cache file from uh, Microsoft Security Essentials and uh, the program reads that it didn't actually scan and needs to be scanned. So I try to exclude that and, uh, and so it doesn't turn orange and say your computer needs to be scanned. Um, because it's deleting the the file saying the the logs that uh, tells the program that it was already scanned. It's hard to explain, but uh, you don't need to know that right now. Um, so let's continue to the next step.